manager is now being prevailed upon to go into the dugout as the match gets underway. The Scottish fans building up some support for the home side. So we're now anxiously looking to see the way the Scottish team forms up for the early stage of the match. Certainly Steve Nicol is operating on the right side of midfield. And there's Scotland getting forward early on. And there's a flag up for the ball going out for a throw. It wasn't for offside. But there's the first hefty tackle of the match. Bo Johnston is certainly thoroughly displeased. Luke Sonor was number four there, who was pushing Mo Johnston away from the scene. But let's take a look at that tackle. There it goes, the tackle on the back by Sonor. And Mo Johnston was certainly irate. And that's a very hefty challenge right at the start of the match on the... Scottish striker Ali McCoy just back from injury so that's a timely reminder to him that he's playing in a World Cup tie there's Gillespie now pass hoisting it high in the air to beat the offside trap looks like Goff goes up here's McStay he has Ferguson on the left but he was bundled to the ground there and he tried to play the pass Shuron complains the rain falling steadily now at Hamden as Paul McStay wins this free kick. There's the incident again, and I think from that, Paul McStay was very lucky indeed. Giron did not appear to commit any infringement at all, but the referee has given the free kick. And one of those set pieces that Alex Ferguson was so anxious Scotland should utilise properly. So Nicol is there with McStay. Here's Ian Ferguson. Superb challenge by Papin. Close down Ferguson very quickly indeed. Here's McLeish. Close to play it back to Gillespie. Alpas indicates he'll beat the offside trap. And there was a foul again, this time on Gary Gillespie by Zereb. The Scots have a free kick once more and the chance for Richard Goff to join the attack once again. They don't, de they don't seem to be concerned about giving away the free kicks defence. I certainly would be worried if I was Michel Poitini. Eventually, but can maybe lose the game. And the police signalling for Gillespie's free kick. Goff is up there with him. There's McCoy. No, Johnston. Yes, and Scott on the score. Twenty-eight minutes into the first half, the World Cup specialist Mo Johnston does it again. The shot came from Ali McCoy. Look at the control here. Johnston, the cruelness in front of goal, and Scotland on ahead. Well, it's amazing. I just went open my mouth about the number of free kicks that have been given away, and they lose the goal job. But then to Mo, he controlled it well from the first place. It may have been a slightly offside, but nonetheless, it counts. And French, the French can only blame themselves now, Jock. Great World Cup in 86. Here's Nickel. And Goff, that's through the middle for McCoy. He's onside. And a good interception there by Sonor. There's McCoy again winning it back. There's Nickel's cross. A header by Johnson. Your bats will be pleased with that one, but nonetheless, it's a goal for Scotland, a great cross from Steve Nicol, and a second one for Mo. What a good night for him. So 2-0 to Scotland, Mo Johnston undoubtedly the goal scorer, despite the fumble by Bats. So there is a tremendous start to the second half from Scotland, and there was some marvellous play there involving Ali McCoy. 
physical, but the French are coming back again. Here's Blanc. Amoros appears on the left. Bringing in for Blanc once again. Here's Zureb. Malpass with a tackle, appeals for a penalty, and there's a foul on Malpass. Papin is very angry there. He thinks he should have had a penalty kick. He's protesting to the referee. into the bedlam again in Hamden and the Scottish fans get right behind the team they relish this tremendous performance here's McLaren and McStay together Bill no McStay crowded out in the end by Amaros and by Lore the pass goes out of play what a head's hanging now among the Frenchmen Lore's explanation will now the time being added on for stoppages Scottish fans just waiting to celebrate when the final whistle goes.